This is Chapter 4, Learning Objective 3. Uh, the employer is the one that calculates the federal income tax to be withheld. And the, the examples that we're using are from the 2012 tax tables. So you can use either the wage bracket method, which is the easiest because you don't have to do any math, or you can use the percentage method which you only use if you've got a highly compensated individual or somebody's getting paid on an annual or semi-annual basis. So what you need to know is if they're single or married, how often they're paid, what the gross pay is, and the number of allowances that they're claiming. There are a couple of other methods that are rarely used. Uh, for withholding, so I'm not going to go into them here, but they're, they're listed in your textbook. So here's an example, and what I suggest you do is open your books to the appendix um, so that you can look uh, at the same numbers that I, I'm going to be referring to here. Noni's annual salary is 40144 She's paid bi-weekly. And her W-4 form shows she's married with four exemptions. So, first you calculate her bi-weekly gross. Uh, so her, her gross divided by 26, that's what she's getting paid each pay period. Um, you can look uh, this up in the wage bracket tables because she's not a highly compensated individual. So when you go to the wage bracket, what you're looking for is bi-weekly. So first you turn to the bi-weekly one, and then you look up under the married, um, which is after the single, and then you look for four allowances. And this is uh, this happens to be on uh, page T8 is where we're looking. And it says federal income tax 65. So while you're on this same table, if you look at the, uh, the bottom row, um, uh, the wages top out at 2700 uh, for biweekly. If you go beyond that, then you have to use the wage bracket tables. Okay, here's another one. John earns an annual salary of $84,400, and he's paid bi-weekly, and his W-4 is married with one withholding. So first you figure his bi-weekly gross, divide it by 26. So this is what he's getting paid. Um, and because this $3,246 is over the $2,700, uh, then you have to use the tax bracket uh, table, or the percentage method, rather. So, <clears throat> turn to that page, which it's page T3 in your textbook, and um, if you look under the bi-weekly married, it's on the right, you'll see that uh, you look for the range that is uh, greater than 3,031, but less than 5,880. That's what this is. So when you look at that, um, then you take 374.40 plus 25 percent of the excess over 3,031. So that's uh, where we get the um, so, uh, actually, I forgot to say this. Uh, there's this allowance amount. So you take the bi-weekly amount, subtract the allowance amount. Now, this is on page T2, uh, but it's not marked in my text. Um, but T2 is just the page opposite these percentage tables. And for bi-weekly, one withholding allowance is 146.15. So that's where that number comes from. Um, 
So this 3100, that's what you're looking at uh, uh, when you take the 37440 plus 25% of the excess of 3100 minus the, the 3031, which was the lower end of this particular bracket. Um, and so that equals 391.65. Look at another example. Maggie earns an annual salary of 336 and is paid monthly. She's married with tr two. Okay, I can tell you right now, uh, she's going to have to use the percentage method. So uh, monthly gross is 28,000. So on the percentage method, you go to, um, you take the 28,000 and divide it by 633.34. And this is the monthly allowance for two. So if you look on that page T2 where it has the table of allowance values, monthly it's 316.67 for each allowance. And so you times that by two and you get the 633.34. So this is what you're going to base the um, bracket on, or, or the percentage. Um, and so if you look this up, this is between um, the 18796 and um, 16, no, let's see, I'm looking at the table, 33038. So this uh, 27 falls between there. So uh, in there it says um, your tax then is $8,755. Sorry, I looked at the wrong line. It's 4,055.42 plus 33% of the excess of the 27,366.66 minus the 18,796, which is from the table. So that equals 6,883.74. Okay, here's another one. Belinda earns a monthly salary of $3,000 and is paid bi-weekly. Her W-4 says single with two withholdings. So, you annualize her salary. 3000 times 12 is 36 So that then you can get a bi-weekly. Because you've got the monthly salary, but she's paid bi-weekly. So you have to convert it to the bi-weekly gross. 1384.62, and you can use the wage bracket tables to look this up. Um, so you look up first on the bi-weekly, and then on the single column, which is on the left side, and then two allowances, and it equals 136. Furhart's, don't know where they came up with this name. I used to date a guy named Gerhardt, and I thought that was a little odd. Uh, Furhart's annual salary is 485000 and he's paid semi-monthly. Married with four. Okay, this is highly compensated, so we're going to be using the percentage method. So, his semi-monthly, um, take uh, the 485 divided by 24, so it's 20000 How would it be? Make that much money. Um, so, He's got four allowances. So you take his um, gross and subtract it by four allowances for semi-monthly. And the semi-monthly is 158.33. That's for a single, and you've got to times it by four. And that's where you get the 633.32. And then um, you look at the, the percentage. It says... Uh, the tax is equal to 4,377.63 plus 35% times the excess of 19,575 minus 16,519. So it's 54,47.23. Now, if you have supplemental wages, uh, we talked about this a little earlier, like vacation pay or um, severance pay, bonuses, commissions. How do you withhold on those? Well, if you're going to um, add them to the regular pay, then you can just treat it like one paycheck and withhold accordingly like we've been doing. But if the amount is going to be indicated separately, then just use the flat rate. 
uh, which is the same as paying it separately. Um, and these are the two options. Uh, this is the flat rate that's referred to up above. Um, I'll skip to method B first. You just take 25% uh, and 35% for anything over a million dollars. Method A says, uh, again, you can add the supplemental and regular wages from the recent payroll and then calculate federal income taxes if it were the single regular payroll payment. Now sometimes uh, you might want to give the employee um, a supplemental check that's um, like you say I want them to end up with $700 or something. Um, well yeah here's an example. An example an employer wants Dove an employee to receive a $700 net bonus check. So you have to gross it up so that you give them um, more than 700 so that after all the taxes are withheld they end up with 700 so in order to do that you take one uh, you take the net check so $700 divided by 1 minus the tax rates so you've got your federal income tax rate and for Dove it's 25% but it could be different um, uh, actually, this is a supplemental payment, so yeah, you're going to take the 25%, and then this is the Social Security for the employee, because that's what you're going to have to withhold from this, and this is the Medicare for the employee. So add all those three up, one minus the sum of those three, and then take 700 divided by that, so you have to pay them, or Dove, 1,009.37. And by the time you withhold all the taxes, Dove will end up with 700 In many states, there's a required withholding rate for state income tax. So we're just requiring for federal, but in some states, you have to do it for, uh, for that as well.